To me, one of the most interesting quarterback battles for 2024 is taking place at USC. The Trojans have had pretty good quarterbacks over the last decade or so, and most recently, they just had the number one overall pick and former Heisman winner Caleb Williams. He's now going to be the future of the Chicago Bears, but as the Trojans move forward, they need to find their next star quarterback. Luckily, they have two really good options. Miller Moss went absolutely insane in their bowl game, throwing for six touchdowns and showing that he should be the future. But they also brought in a transfer from UNLV that showed he has unlimited potential and great physical traits. And both of these guys are in a neck and neck quarterback battle that could go on until the fall. While many are quickly saying that Miller Moss is the guy, I would not rule out Jaden as he's already been compared to Caleb Williams again and he has so much untapped potential that Lincoln Riley has been drooling over him. In today's video, I want to preview this year's quarterback battle that's going on at USC. We're to talk about each guy, who they are, why they should be qualified to start, and then my overall thoughts on what should happen. But before we get started, if you're a big fan of college football, be sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like if you want to support today's video, and let me know what player, team, topic, or situation I could cover next. Now let's get started and talk about the insane quarterback battle going on at USC. So to bring you back up to speed, Caleb Williams was the guy in 2022 and in 2023. He came here after being a five-star recruit in high school and spending one year at Oklahoma, trading dues with Spencer Rattler and showing he was the better player. When Lincoln Riley went to USC, Caleb Williams followed him. He's obviously had a great two years for the Trojans and is now the future of the Chicago Bears. But USC is looking to continue things on as they now head into the Big Ten. They needed a new quarterback and they got it in Jaden Mayava. He ended up being the Mountain West Freshman of the Year at UNLV this past season and now he is transferring to USC. As the Trojans are now in the heart of their offseason practices, Maeva is doing a tremendous job. He's trying to become this year's successor to Caleb, and he's going to battle it out with Miller Moss. But first, who is Jade Maeva? Well, going back in time, he ended up coming from Hawaii, and he said he knew at six years old what he wanted to do. Jaden said, quote, I think I was six years old and playing flag football. One night, my dad pulled me aside and talked to me. He asked me what I wanted to do, and I was like, I want to become an NFL player. Ever since then, everything just clicked for me, and I've been playing and doing my thing ever since. Eventually, Jaden would spend most of his childhood there, but would move with his family to Las Vegas when he was just 13 years old. He would eventually return to Hawaii in 2019, but first Jaden would have to end up playing in Las Vegas. After putting up big numbers, he got offers from schools such as Auburn and Tennessee, and also had a physical growth spurt. He grew to be 6 foot 5 and 205 pounds, so his former high school got a huge boost when he decided to come back. He said, quote, I wanted to come back and play with the boys back home. While he was leading Las Vegas for Hawaii and it could be seen as risky, he was enjoying it. He ended up throwing for 30 touchdowns and helped his team, which was usually pretty bad, to an 8-2 record and a playoff berth. As a junior, he had already thrown for 3,300 yards and 41 touchdowns, so he was starting to become a decently big recruit. While he was considered a 3-star player by most sites, Jaden still had a lot of untapped potential. One coach who really noticed this was Marcus Arroyo. He was pretty big at Oregon back in the day and famously helped develop a couple of guys. He had since become the head coach at UNLV, and when he was trying to find his next quarterback, he found Jaden. They had a really good connection, and he apparently made Jaden feel so important that he chose to go to UNLV over other Power 5 offers. Now, to be honest, I don't know if those Tennessee and Auburn offers were actually committable, as one thing that a lot of people don't realize is that a lot of times if a kid actually wants to commit to a school, they may not always have that offer even if it's listed. Offers are kind of weird, as sometimes a player will be offered based on their potential and not actually on what they've done. So there are two types, a committable and non-committable offer, but who knows if he actually had one. He did have one to UNLV. In terms of that connection, Jaden really liked his coach. He said, quote, Before he got the head coaching job at UNLV, he was in Oregon and worked with Justin Herbert. Herbert was an unearthed gem from the local area, Oregon, and maybe Jaden could be the next three-star gem who could make it to the NFL like Herbert did. Well, according to 24-7 Sports, he was a three-star recruit, the number 53 quarterback, and the 853rd best player in the class of 2022. So how would he end up doing at UNLV? Well, he would redshirt his first year on campus before being put into a three-way quarterback battle in 2023. He ended up losing the job, but would end up becoming the backup quarterback. Eventually, Doug Broomfield, their starter, got hurt, and Jaden took full advantage of this. He led UNLV to their most wins since 1984 and a first ever appearance in the Mountain West Championship game. With just one season as a starter, it's hard to know how good he was, 
but he was the Mountain West Freshman of the Year as he threw for 3,085 yards, 17 touchdowns, and he completed 64% of his passes. After deciding to enter the transfer portal, he got noticed by two schools right away, USC and Georgia. Those are pretty big offers, and he ended up visiting both campuses, and many thought he was a lock to be a Trojan. But then, he had a surprise commitment to Georgia, and this kind of stunned a lot of people. Except, a day later, he would eventually flip back to USC, and he just said it was about coaching. Jaden said, quote, I wanted to play under Lincoln Riley. The things he's done, the accomplishments he's had, and being able to go out there and compete against the best, Coach Riley is such a great dude. I mean, just sitting in the film room and the knowledge he has, it's absolutely amazing. It's honestly hard to blame Jaden for transferring to USC because Lincoln Riley has an excellent track record of developing quarterbacks. There's also the idea of him actually competing for the starting job, as while Miller Moss had that one good bowl game, that competition is open, whereas Georgia, it's not. It's 100% Carson Beck's team, and the only way he's ever getting on the field is if he beats out Gunnar Stockton and Beck gets hurt. Lincoln Riley would eventually weigh in on his decision to commit, saying, quote, I think he just really decided where he wanted to be. The recruiting process can be tough, and emotions can really play a factor, and I think it probably did for him a little bit. This decision is mutually beneficial. For Jaden, it gives him an opportunity to develop under one of the best offensive minds in the sport and play against a different caliber of talent in the Big Ten. On the other hand, the Trojans needed a young but experienced quarterback who could also compete for the starting job and give some depth. They only had two scholarship players at the time, and Raleigh said, quote, We knew exactly what we were looking for. We didn't have 15 guys lined up in the room right now, but we wanted someone who at the end of the day wanted to come here, compete, and believe in themselves. Jaden has really acclimated himself to Southern California so far, and he is a factor in the starting quarterback job. People don't make comparisons to Heisman Trophy winners lightly, but a guy from The Athletic seems to think that Jaden and Williams have more in common. He said, quote, Jaden is one of the more interesting quarterback transfers. You know, he kind of reminds me in terms of skill set, playing style, and running style, a lot like Caleb Williams. Like, there's actually a lot in common there. But first, he's going to have to win that starting job if he even wants to begin to compare to the lofty standards that are being thrown at him. He'll have to compete with a guy who threw for six touchdowns in the Trojans' 2023 Holiday Bowl win, Miller Moss. Going back in time, Miller was the son of a UCLA alum and became a USC fan while growing up in Southern California. He always wanted to be a quarterback and eventually would start to blow up as a sophomore, but didn't get big until his junior season. In 2019, Moss would throw for 3,118 yards with 28 touchdowns while leading his high school to a 9-3 record. He would eventually end up choosing USC over UCLA, LSU, and Alabama, marking another huge recruiting victory for USC in their 2021 class. For Moss, this was something he always dreamed of. He went through a long recruiting process, but eventually achieved his childhood dream of hopefully becoming the next great USC quarterback. He said he loved the Trojans' rebuilt coaching staff and the culture change. At the time, he also loved offensive coordinator Graham Harrell and the potential to play in the air raid system. Unfortunately, he was not alone, as he was also joined by big-time four-star recruit Jackson Dart. He came out of Utah, and both of the guys were ranked near the same spot in the rankings and would have to battle it out. At one point, they also had Jake Garcia committed, as he was once a five-star quarterback, but he went to Miami, then went to Mizzou, and has since transferred somewhere else. Moss did not care about any of the competition, and USC got two elite quarterbacks. According to 24-7 Sports, Miller was a four-star recruit, the number 15 quarterback, and the 112th best player in the class of 2021. So how would he end up doing at USC? Well, in 2021, he'd complete 8 of 13 passes for a touchdown, and then in 2022, he'd once again be a backup, throwing for 159 yards and a touchdown there. In 2023, Miller was obviously the backup to Williams and would play in three regular season games, throwing one touchdown against Nevada and running for a touchdown against both Stanford and San Jose State. But as Caleb prepared for the 2024 NFL Draft, he would have to start in their Holiday Bowl game against Louisville. What Moss did next shocked the college football world. He ended up throwing for 372 yards with six touchdowns and one interception. This was the breakout performance that the USC staff was hoping to see, and college football fans were already proclaiming Miller Moss as the next big thing. It reminds me a lot of when Casey Thompson went off at Texas in the bowl game in 2020, and how he got a ridiculous amount of hype for 2021. While Moss obviously was great in that game, he only has one game to his resume. He said he's really excited to see what the team's going to look like when he puts his DNA on it. And for now, he's just working hard and doing his thing to try to become the starter. Eventually, when Jaden transferred in, Moss was asked about it. He said he didn't have a huge reaction either way. And he said, quote, As I've said before, my job is to help us win as many games as possible, and that's what I'm going to continue to do. So in terms of my thoughts on the battle, I think it goes one of two ways. 
Either Miller Moss completely runs away with it, absolutely dominates Jaden, and shows that his six touchdown performance was no fluke and he's the next big thing. Either that, or him and Jaden go neck and neck, and eventually he gets a starting job. It's really going to depend on what kind of system USC wants to run in 2024, as they will now have to adjust to Big Ten teams, and while Miller is more of a traditional pocket passer, Jaden's more of a dual threat quarterback, and he also has a lot more experience. Moss has one game, Jaden has a full season. Jaden's also a little bit younger, so if USC wants to develop a guy for the future, he's probably the guy they're going to roll the dice with. Except, if I had to put my money on it, I'm honestly going to go with the first conclusion. I think Miller Moss is going to end up being the starting quarterback, Jaden will be the backup, and then next year things will get really interesting. Either Miller's good enough to go off to the NFL, or he ends up struggling and gets benched for Jaden. Miller struggles, I could see Jaden playing this year, and if Miller's good, I could also see Jaden transferring for a second time. At this point, I don't really know, and we won't really find out much more until the fall comes around. But what do you guys think? If you're a USC fan, what do you think of this quarterback battle? Who do you think should win, and, and why do you think your choice should win? Be sure to let me know down below. Let me know what quarterback battle I should cover next. Leave a like if you want to support today's video. Subscribe if you're new, and check out all my other videos on the end screen. Hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time, peace.